everyone, it's Jeff again. What I've been thinking about the last few days as I drive along is billboards. We are flooded with billboards. They are everywhere. And in all of the videos I have seen of the United Kingdom, I can't remember ever seeing a billboard. Billboards are pretty much everywhere. The only place I know of that limits billboards is Oregon. In 1961, they decided they had had enough of them, and they voted not to let any more new ones go up. There is something else I've never seen in any of the videos from over there, and that is pole signs, like they have in front of businesses. It seems like all I ever see is the actual sign on the building. And this got me thinking about how much in advertising I see a day. Between billboards and pole signs, I am inundated with advertising throughout the day. Here in America, we can thank the barrage of advertising we are exposed to every day to this gentleman right here chatting with Mickey Rooney. His name was Douglas Lee and pretty much every bit of the outdoor advertising that we see today in America was his brainchild. The original massive neon signs in Las Vegas, his idea. All of the iconic advertising in Times Square, his idea. As I drove along, my thoughts turned to the other individuals whose ideas have had positive and negative influences in my life. And there are some people whose ideas have radically changed our lives without us probably even knowing who they were. This fellow thought he had a couple of really good ideas in his lifetime. The first problem he tried to solve was knocking in internal combustion engines. His solution? Adding lead to gasoline. How many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people he killed, we may never know. He basically went from company to company, attacking the problems that they didn't have solutions for. The next problem he went to solve? A refrigerant that could replace ammonia. The chemical he came up with he called Freon 12 and we all know what a wonderful job it did burning a hole in our ozone layer. It was even used as a propellant in spray cans. Thomas Midgley Jr. you left quite a legacy. I am wondering if you came to visit the United Kingdom from America if that's one of the things that you would be conscious of that you are not being bombarded by advertising constantly. I wonder if it would make me more productive and if I would finally remember to order the replacement parts for my fold-up bicycle. I wonder if the average person as they drive by this grocery chain in Texas realizes that the man's name was Herman Edward Butts. Would Gabriel Avalon be able to take the strain of passing 60 Dairy Queens a day knowing that they had 60 flavors of delicious milkshakes? I think about how much I would like to visit the United Kingdom all the time when I'm driving along and then the fear sets in. I would not want to act like a typical American. And yet, in some ways, I am the typical American. I wouldn't know a salad fork from any other fork, and I have never dipped soup from a tontine. I am very much afraid that I would be thought of as being barely housebroken. I think all the time about cooking Mexican street tacos and enchiladas for my friends, and I think about how I can always make Kevin Hall laugh. I think all the time about how much I would like to meet Mr. and Mrs. Ponderer and Gabriel Avalon, the brother I never had. I am thinking it might not help my cause 
to convince you I'm not the typical American if I show you my scooter, which I built myself. The last thing I've been thinking about this week is this gentleman, a very kind and wise person who is back to feeling under the weather. If you haven't had the chance to see his videos, he is the wandering ponderer and he wanders around his little village thinking about things that other people just aren't talking about. And he makes you realize that it is a very big world out there and there is a lot that we really should give a thought to once in a while. The world is a much better place for having the wandering ponderer in it. And I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you everyone. Stay safe, be good to one another, and I will see you again.